Welcome back to Wingot Plays Nomi Factory. And I don't know if any of you noticed, but that's going to require an IV compressor in order for us to make the Sigmalum heavy plating. So, let's see, I haven't yet taught the system how to make an IV compressor. And there's going to be, frankly, quite a few steps, I think, involved in making IV. So, here, advanced IV compressor. Microprocessor and mainframes, fine. That's the best we've got available at the moment. Let's teach the system to make that. Now, it's going to need, oops, that was EV. Oh, yeah. Platinum cables, machine holes, and electric pistons. Okay, those actually seem simple enough. So, IV pistons. Uh, we are going to run into lots of little recipes. IV machine frame should be a lot easier. Although, what are these filled with? Where's, hang on, where's our assembling machines? These are filled with soldering alloy. This needs polyethylene. So, where's that set up? What are you trying to make? You're trying to make machine hold. It'll be this machine here, the polyethylene assembler. Okay. Good. Make that. Now we need machine casing, which perfect. Now you if take a look here at casing. It's this machine. No, it's not. It's this machine, the tin assembler. Okay. I'm just going oh actually. I was about to say I'm just going to test that IV machine casing works, but first we need to actually make this tungsten cable and platinum cable. So, you, platinum cable is made in a silicon rubber assembler. I don't know that we've actually got that. Styrene butylene, no. Well, we've got silicon rubber more than we've got styrene butylene. Now. This needs tungsten cables, which is also made with a silicon rubber. You cable. Okay, I'm going to just pop over to our base there and see if we can find that assembly machine that makes the cables, because I think I might have actually changed it over to using silicon rubber. Uh, cable. This guy here. Yeah, so all I need then is an expansion card. Here, so that it can have both of those aspects. Perfect. Now, that will complain because it needs the tungsten wire. It knows how to make platinum wire, fine. And tungsten wire will be easy because we've got the wire metal array there. So, U, tungsten wire, wire metal, 16 input. Wire metals is this one there. Good, and that's our last spot there. And then we just need the electric piston. Okay. Now, the electric piston is a standard recipe, and then it's going to need small tungsten of silk gear and electric motors. Okay. Uh, piston, IV. So, electric motor, annealed copper, tungsten steel rod, dipnir dimmium. In fact, I don't think any of that is new. I think that's all stuff that the system knows how to make. And then the 
lot. What was the last thing we need? No, apparently it doesn't know how to make 16x and need a copper wire. Spore tungsten steel gear. Okay. So, what are you? There. Spore tungsten steel gear is made in an extruder. Let me just double check that. It just has to be MBT. Perfect. So we've got small gears being made there in that MV extruder. And lastly, we also need a Neod 16X copper. So it knows how to make 8X, so we just need to teach it to make 16. Fine. Uh, in fact, let's do this. Let's make some of that. We'll give you a crafting terminal. There you go, 16X. Perfect. Good, and so now I think we can actually tell it to make a compressor and it'll just do it. The microprocessor mainframes would have been expensive, but thankfully we'd actually already made some. I'm going to, I think, make some more because as we push into IV, we are actually going to need those, I'm sure. And then we'll grab some arrays as well and then may as well grab some more nanoprocessors. Perfect. Now, show me you. How's the compressor going? No, no. Oh, has it already made the compressor? Handy. Perfect. So, now if we pop here, we should be able to pop that out, put that in there. Good. Now, it is going to need a wrench and where's my screwdriver there oh come on ah oh, is it because that's in my hand yep good and then you are going to be auto output perfect now that fails to run because it it runs out of power before so Let's see what we can do about making IV tier CEF. So CEF IV forum. Yeah, good. Make that. What do you need? You need lumium wire. Okay, fine. CEF EV IV go. Lumium wire is the only thing you don't know how to make. Perfect. You can do that. And then you, the question is, good, I've already taught the system to make that, perfect. So then we just need to do that step and then we can grab our CEF, go. And then what I might do is I might see if I can put the CEF right there right adjacent to it. Uh, energy conduit, and then we'll pump that in. And that looks like, looks like it all just works. Perfect. That will also double the speed of all of the heavy platings that we need. And so, Good. That looks like we have everything we need to get our tier four tier four micro monitor up and running. And meanwhile, it will just produce all those nano circuits in the background. You don't insert, just extract. Good. Pretty happy with that. That was much less hassle than it could have been to go to the IV tier, at least for a single machine. We're full on quantum eyes, eyes of ender there, solidified argon, everything looks like it's just working. Tungsten carbide, I do wonder whether we could afford to go. Oh, we've got more than 2048. Let's go one or two four. Let's 
do, let's double that. What's this? Palladium, yeah, fine. Because we don't have a palladium dust source. I think those are all probably pretty good. Let's go to check out our tungsten. Ah, okay. It should be, I think, trying to make more tungsten. In fact, let's change this. Let's tell it that it can make 5,000. 1, 2, 4, 2, 9, 6, 5, 1, no, no, once we get to 5,000, we'll just do 5,000, we won't bother to do, 1, 2, 4, 2, 4, 8, okay, 5, 0, 9, 6 would be the multiple of 2, but the, the exponent of 2. But it'll be fine. 5,000. 5,000, 5,096. It won't make any difference once you get to that sort of quantity. Looks like I'm a bit short on chrome ingots, but otherwise, stainless steel, titanium's coming through. Oh, yeah, let's just check our hot ingots. Still are being processed, it looks like. But we at least have. Good. We don't have any new ones being brought into the system. And let me just quickly grab a frost proof casing so that we can replace this. Good. Just because I would have, I just get annoyed if I, if something is wrong like that. Now, meanwhile, let's go check on our other vacuum freezer, make sure it hasn't broken at all. I think it should be fine. It's progressing. It's full still of all of these spares. So, export the first item until the network is empty, then try the next ones. Yep, fine, whatever. Good, and so that will just continue processing through the backlog there we've got for the hots. Meanwhile, I think this is probably waiting on me. So let's pop over here to our, to there, and then we just want to make a tier four. And that won't ping off the quest because, as I said, we haven't made the medium microverse projector, which gets in the way for that particular quest. So, let's do it. Medium microverse projector. We've never taught the system how to make that, so why does it think I've made that one before? I'm guessing that it's because of the change from dev, uh, from normal to dev, and it misidentified the the old modular machines version meanwhile i'm just going to silence my phone because i have noticed that keeps going off now what we need is we need a microverse projector medium microverse projector perfect make that oops Good, make a medium microvest projector. Good, we've got one of those. Now we need microvest projector casings, easy. Microvest projector casings, make just make a hundred, I don't care. We've got, I think we had a thousand microversium. What I might do is I might actually change it so that it keeps a stock of 2000, because 1000 we can chew through, there you go. We can easily chew through 1,000 while making a single modular uh, microversium projector. So let's just bump it up to 2,000. Anyway, the, what's going on there? When do these get crafted? Oh, in a assembler. And we're probably doing that in an MV2 assembler at this point. Okay. Anyway, that will go in the background. We need blocks of diamond. Interesting that that looks like block of diamond, black space, quest book space. I think it's this purple one actually. Quest book space. Looks like either would work, but that is made with diamond and then with a chisel. Fine, we can do that. You give me, give me a hundred, go. And then give me a chisel. 
and we need that. Good. Put that away. Give me uh, micro verse. Good, that's happy. We need ineffable glass, which is easy. The system knows how to make that. It already has a chunk. Let's make 400 more. Because that will take time. It will possibly drop me from flying. There we go. Because of the GP generation. But that's fine. We don't need to care about that for the time being. Microverse project event. We need four of these which will use up just four projector casings. Fine, I don't care about that. Quantum compressor. We need one of those. Input bus and output bus. So a MB tier input bus will do the job. And then an output bus can be EV tier. Perfect. So that should be everything we need. Where's that compressor gone? Just waiting on a couple of black steel ingots. Good. And then we've got the quantum compressor. We've already got the ineffable glass. We need the microverse stuff. Microverse project events. And 64 projector casings will be more than enough. Perfect, it's medium, microverse projector, and as that ticks off, we should also get the tier four. Oh, it's complaining because we actually need IV machine holes. You, IV machine hole, give me one of those, go. I, hmm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to our micro miner location. Without like noob pulling my way up. Let's do it. Give me a stack of gravel. Perfect. Who needs creative flight? Okay, so if we pop that there, that won't fit. We need to come back one to there. And then that'll fit. We can get rid of that glowstone. We could always put the glowstone at the top there. Let's do that. can't line up and it can't not cross the boundary unless I knocked out that wall there. So I think it's fine because we are chunk loading this whole pillar. So let's grab here. Good. 
pro tip, don't start a large extra utilities craft just before you need to be able to use creative flight. And it's pro tip because I'm a pro. That's why I deal with this sort of thing. Let's put the ineffable at the back there first. Good, and then we can. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, looks like we missed a couple of pieces of this microversium. Good, and then diamonds. Show me this. Ah, yep. Let's make the whole back wall. If one of those diamonds got misplaced, it did. Good, and now the quantum compressor gets to go right there. Good, and then surround that with diamonds. Good, and then I think it should just be a matter of filling in the rest of this inevitable glass and then putting in those hatches. Good. Now, first up, I'm actually going to do that. And it's going to complain. Oh. Yeah, it's going to complain, I think, because it doesn't like that there's no input and output hatches. So, let's grab our input bus go here. Our output we'll put back here. Actually, doesn't this need a fuel hatch? Oh, I'm not 100% it does. Yeah, okay, might not need a fuel hatch. Okay. Now, what is it complaining about now? Invalid structure. Whoa. It doesn't have an energy hatch at all. And again, this doesn't mention any hatch. Interesting. So, let us... In fact, what we'll do, I think, is we'll put the energy hatch here. Good. It's happy. So, we can grab our tier 4. Perfect. Now, what else do we need to actually get this one to run? We need 8 quantum flux. Easy. Petrothium and dust, very easy. We've already got that on passive. And then lastly, we need this here, composition sensor. Or with a realm data. We could make this composition sensor, but that just gets us infinity dust and dead zoic sensor. We don't need those. Gemstone we can't do because we can't actually make the IV sensor until we get osmium. And so what we do need is we need wither realm dust so we can get osmium and iridium. Perfect. So then give me four wither realm dust. And go. A quantum flux, oh, because it doesn't actually have power. So at this point, we're just going to run it on EV. Let's just double check. No, it has to run on RV. Okay. That there can actually be replaced then, and we need an energy input hatch. We haven't yet taught the system to make IV. Okay. So let me go take care of that.
mm, this is so slow compared to creative flight. Normally creative flight feels slow compared to other flight methods, but walking is even slower again. Now we don't need any of these. We do need, so you. We want a energy input hatch. We want IV tier, you. What would be? Why are these even still in the pack? I think virtual machinery is deprecated. Good. Now you. Let me just quickly grab that IV hole or casing because there was that quest that needed it. Perfect. Now we can make our energy input hatch. Perfect. Good, there's our IV compressor and we should get all of the other things. The tier four I think should ping away there in a sec. Boom. Good, progress. Oh, that was close. Okay, IV energy input hatch, perfect. Now we do need lumium. Oh, it probably would it would have been so nice if I had taught the system to make lumium cables. Actually, let's do this. Let's make an IVCF. And later on we can replace, we can put cables, but arguably we're not going to be connecting anything else here. Ooh, yuck. Good. So that's done. Now we just need to give that power. I think... I'm trying to think how I can do this without depressurizing the room. I'm not 100% that it's easily possible. Because if I pop outside here, oh, 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 I'm dead. Wow. I don't think dead, I think it respawns me over there. I am a fan. I think this does look pretty reasonable. You wake up, find yourself back on the station. Perfect. So, shall we get you? You're done. You. Screw it, just, actually I don't think it's made any lunar dust yet, has it? Why? Is there too much demand for GP and it can't actually run? Because it's this guy over here. Grid is overloaded, okay. Fine, you, cancel that job, cancel that. Okay, we'll have to come back and fix up our grid power later. But that does at least give us flight. Anything I can pop outside here. And yeah, the thing is, I need to... Actually, maybe... I'm just trying to figure out where the... So this here is the floor. So I think... I knock out that block. That there is where the CEF is, I think. What if? What if we grab some cobble? There. And then we can. Good, so there's the cobble. So what we want is we want a facade of quartz right there. And then that cobble, there's the facade, perfect. And if we take a look over here, so we've got our energy line, which I think
so this is the floor. I should oh huh. This does look like the floor right here. Yeah. Yeah well. I can fix that. So we'll replace all of this with facade. Which will mean that we can then run In fact I probably didn't need to replace that with facade. Side and replace that look and then if we pull up to here that should be getting power CEF is full of power and that's progressing good and once that's finished progressing Over here, we get our osmium and our iridium. Perfect. So those can then go in and be processed in our water processing journey. Now over here, I'm pretty sure oxygenation has been fixed. Good. I do like just having some torches around because they prove that there is oxygen in the room. Without me having to take my helmet off and test. Good, that can go away. All of that can go away. Oops, oops, oops. Um, that was the ore that I just put in there, wasn't it? Uh, which ore was it? It was like one. You. Already more. Good. Radium ore and osmium ore. Uh, where's the rest? Oh, you only get 16. Ah, that hurts. Okay, osmium can go there. Radium can go there. Perfect. Now show me over here. Osmium is being processed. Iridium is being processed. Perfect. Why did I wind up with stone dust? Oh. Let's grab. Grab that, put it there, grab my laser wrench, and connect that to there, and then that to there. Perfect. Take that stone out of there because it was not meant to go into an ore washer. Cool. Now let's take a look here because probably. Ooh, this iridium in one. Good, iridium dust, you are new. You can go lead, nickel, silver, niobium. Cool. Niobium, borax, iridium, and osmium can all go together. That seems to make sense. Perfect. So at that point, we can get the
Good. So we can now get the automated interface. So let's go teach the system how to make it. Oh, automation interface. The only thing that's missing is the crystal team components. So crystal team. Crystal team component here is a standard microassembly recipe. Crystal team catalyst does get used in some recipes, so let's just teach the system to make that ahead of time. Good. Now, crystal team, actually, let's just do this. We're going to need crystal team ingots and osmeridium plates. Fine. So, crystal osmeridium plate is can be made in the compactor so let's just teach that system over there to make our oh, osmeridium plates that's actually a compressor not a compactor anymore but it's fine so that's done perfect now we need to know how to make osmeridium and crystal tin so crystal tin ingot can be made here so let us do this Let's clear out most of this. Diamonds, we need, oops, uh, eight diamonds. We need four nether star nuggets, which I don't think the system knows how to make. 10 lapis lazuli. Two gold ingots, two iron, uh, four iron ingots. Perfect. So that should be everything we need to make a crystal teen ingot. Now, as I say, nether star nugget. The system barely knows how to make nether stars, let alone nuggets. So that should be pretty easy though. If I get my hand onto the right part of the keyboard, all it has to do is convert a nether star into a nugget. Perfect. Now, over here, that recipe gets to go there because it is a tier three, yep, good. So you, crystal teen. Let's just make four of these go. Now, everything it should need has or already exists. Good, and then crystal teen ingots, make four of those. Perfect, put those back in the system, great. Now, auto mission. The only thing it needs now is the Osmeridium Ingot. Perfect. So, Osmeridium Ingot, I'm pretty sure, is going to be a Blast Furnace recipe. You, back in freezer, you, Osmium and Iridium plus Helium. We're already getting Helium from what we set up at the start of a couple of episodes ago, I think, at this point. Um, iridium and Osmium. So, Iridium and Osmium, we're getting both of those dusts over there but I think those have to be processed in blast furnaces as well. So, you, actually, let's just do that. A hot Osmeridium ingot is our goal. Osmium ingot, again, yep, there you go. Hot Osmium, so Nichrome, Nichrome, and Iridium is made in a Nichrome, perfect. So, we can do all three of those very easily over here in our mostly prepared blast furnaces. But that is input bus. Basically this is the same thing we've already done it numerous times already. So that one needs helium. This one does not need anything. This one does not need anything. Good. So we'll start with those two. I need an output bus. Let's make just some more MVs. So here, give me two of those. Give me heat proof casing. Good. One, two, alpha bus, alpha bus. And then pop up here. So input. Uh, no, I didn't put it. 
just double check both of those have a single item input so we can use the item filter here now one two three four good you white extract you white extract you are going to be inserting Start with iridium. No, that's osmeridium. Iridium dust. Good. Go. Insert. You are going to be osmium dust. And go. Perfect. Now we just need the interface itself to expose osmium dust and iridium dust. And then we can just put a few facades on the top here. Good. And then those aren't running because they need a level limiters to run. Good. Now, any conduit flux cable and a storage monitor. Good, so those should both be working. Now this one here was the Iridium. So Iridium ingot, let's say we want 512 of those, and invert it. And then this one was the Osmium Ingot. Okay, same thing. Good. Now, the medium. Oh, is that? Okay, so Iridium is slow. Osmium looks like it's fast. Osmium is very fast. But unfortunately, osmium is what we get very limited dust. Well, very limited ore. Iridium, when it's done, I'll put that there. Also, I've just noticed this episode is already 40 minutes. So basically, we're just doing the same thing over here. And then in for this one, we will just need to put a fluid input bus which may as well be MV there. Put this hatch back in place. Ooh. Put an output bus at the back. Show me Iridium, I think it's done. Good. Iridium can go there, perfect. Put that away. Output bus. There, good, and now we just need to open up this bit, and then uh, we also need fluid conduit, item conduit, fluid filter, limited item filter. Good, that should be everything we need. So that can go there. That is going to be extracted into white. That is a limited item filter with one osmium ingot and three iridium ingots. I think three iridium, yep. And then insert on red. Then we just need to go here and, ex and grab iridium ingots and osmium ingots. Perfect. And then we just need to hook up the fluids to here. Okay, now that there is going to become a fluid interface here. You 
give me my yellow wrench. There. Good, and then that is going to get helium. Okay. So, where are we? There. That gets to be the fluid conduit. Extract on brown, as we always do. Over here, we're going to put the fluid filter on there. This gets helium. Insert. Perfect. Now, give me some more of those facades. Good. And then that should be able. Whoosh. That's not going to work. That needs to be a battery. There you go. It'll be input muscle too. Good. That should be getting what it needs other than a redstone signal. So level emitter. There. We've got any conduit already, so that can just go there. We need a piece of fluix. We need a storage monitor. In fact, the fluix will do the job to get it running. Storage monitor can then go on the front. And then this needs to be set to Osmeridium. Osmeridium ingot. Good. Let's say we want 512 of that and invert. Good. That should be running. As soon as it's done, it should freeze and we should get Osmeridium ingots. Perfect. So that will automatically process the osmium and iridium that we're getting from the tier four mission there. And we are getting osmium, iridium and osmiridium, which means that we will be able to go on to the next step of making this osmiridium plate and the automation interface. We've got four osmiridium there. So let's actually, I'll, I'll go back later and fix it up so that it, um, is, be is better controlled, but for the time being, I think we might be able, we might be bloody close to being able to make this. It just needs to know. Okay, we just need 12 more osmerinium ingots, and then we will be able to craft the automation interface. And once we get the automation interface, the first thing I'll be automating will be the production of the crystal teen ingots that's needed to make the osmeridium the automation interface and then once we've got that other once we've got that automated i'll then automate the production of each of the different tiers of the tier two and tier three and tier four micro miners that we've been manually crafting to date as well as the um reinforced mining laser so all of these patterns will get automated so that we don't have to manually craft them. And all we have to do is tell the system, I oh, just give me one of those. But that's something that I'll have to do in the next episode. Thank you for watching this longer episode than usual. Stay happy and healthy, and I hope to see you in the next one.